the answer was a little fishy to me. <laughs> they said, well, there's a gravitational field that's always there. And it's a change in the gravitational field that moves at the speed of light. And I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what the dude told me. And otherwise, he couldn't get gravity out of a black hole where the black hole doesn't let anything get out even the speed of light, and that the gravity moves at the speed of light, how's the gravity going to get out of a black hole? I just don't think of it that way. I, I think about gravity as the geometry of, of space-time, and the black hole is part of that geometry, and the things that we can know about, and this is true for light as well, are only things that are outside the horizon of the black hole. So what I've always been taught, and I think I learned this maybe even from Kip Thorne, uh, was that you, it's not meaningful to think about what happens inside the horizon because we don't even know if our laws of physics would hold there or not. And so when I think about gravity traveling at the speed of light, what's actually traveling at the speed of light is a gravitational wave, and it's only really meaningful outside of the horizon. She dodged out. Yeah. <laughs> We can't know what's in there, so who cares? She totally dies out. No, no, that's good, that's good. That's, that's an important distinction that physics had to mature into as a field to realize there are things that are beyond your knowledge and therefore you, there's nothing you can say about it. Right. At all. Uh, for now, uh, you know, the, who knows what, which, what other forces we might discover that would describe something inside that horizon. Okay, but, but right now that's not, not happening. Right. Okay, so, but a change in gravity would then be a ripple, a change in that sort of thing that I'm feeling out there. Right. And, and we can just watch that at the speed of light. Because we say we, we pluck the sun from the center of, the, of our solar system, you wouldn't know about it for eight minutes and 20 seconds. You'd still orbit, you'd still feel the heat, we'd still feel the gravity, everything would be normal. And eight minutes, 20 seconds later, we fly off at a tangent in the dark and freeze in interstellar space. Have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> How that's going to happen. Those eight minutes before are amazing. <laughs>